One enemy the Albanese government has made in the first year of power is the building and mining industry. Key bodies are uniting to wage war against the government over its proposed second wave of IR reforms, which will clamp down on self-employed and independent contractor standards. The Minerals Council and their members include BHP, Rio Tinto, Glencore, Whitehaven, Energy Australia, among others, have said that they will strongly oppose any proposal that will extend the scope of the Fair Work Commission's power to set minimum standards to an open-ended range of independent contractors. And Master Builders Australia has warned that such measures would represent one of the most significant and real attacks on the rights of self-employed and independent contractors. The Chief Executive of Master Builders Australia, Danita Warren, joins me now. Welcome to the show, Danita. Look, the government says here that it has consulted with the industry, but you're saying that consultation process was a sham. Why is that? Well, it's quite simple that uh, we were only aware of the extent of the breadth of the proposals when a discussion paper came out around about three weeks ago. That is despite the fact us asking for now two years about the scope of um, the policy that the government took to the election. It was very cryptic. It could have meant a lot of things. And that was reinforced by the discussion paper that makes it very clear that it will apply potentially to all independent contractors working in employee-like conditions. Uh, and we simply say that the last three weeks has not been good enough when this policy has been out for two years. Mm. But more importantly, when we've asked the minister about the why, he has said, no, we won't debate the why, it's about the how. Uh, and we argue that uh, that is uh, not best practice policy making for this country. Well, the government says that its uh, IR reform consultation papers are focusing on same job, same pay, and that this is designed to, present, to prevent worker exploitation. Is that not the case? Well, the discussion paper is all about in, um, focusing on any independent contractor who um, may be working in employee-like conditions to be forced to become an employee. Now, there are certainly cases we know that exist where people are forced to becoming uh, an independent contractor, and that is unacceptable. And we have sham contracting arrangements already in place, and if they need some changes, then let's have that debate. But what we're talking about is individual tradies that have made a freedom of choice decision to mm. become an independent contractor. And under the current discussion paper, it is very clear Clear that they would be captured by this uh, proposed laws that would put, force them to becoming employees when they do not want to do so. I mean, this is an unusual group for the government to be having a fight with in many ways, self-employed tradies. Absolutely. And this is where it's really, really simple for the government. They simply need to categorically rule out that this will not apply to the building and construction industry in terms of independent contracting in our sector. Okay. Uh, that it applies instead to those who are focused more in the sham contracting arrangements. Let's have a debate about that. Yep. Let's not force people into employee-like right. conditions. All right. Danita Wan, thank you very much for your time.